What Schools Teach from Growing Without Schooling number 17. A mother sent us these quotes from her child's teachers. Her child was not allowed to read books during reading classes in school, though she tested in the 99th percentile in reading skill tests. If your daughter would just apply herself a little harder, I think she could get it. She has got to understand that much of the work done in school is boring and tedious. Fifth grade teacher. I know some of this work is boring for your daughter, but you've got to understand that's what school is all about. Second grade teacher. These kids have got to understand that learning isn't fun. Elementary principal. Children versus Courses from Growing Without Schooling 17. Wendy Priesnitz, who edits the Canadian Alliance of Homeschoolers newsletter, writes, Heidi, 8, and Melanie, 6, are refusing to do the correspondence courses. Don't blame them. They certainly keep themselves busy, however. Even I am amazed at how fast and well Heidi has learned to read, and she reads constantly almost until she starts to do the courses, when she soon is heard to say, I hate reading. We've said they don't ever have to ever do the course, but they seem to feel an obligation to them because they helped get us approved. So from time to time they go at it, only to remember how boring it is and put it away until they've forgotten again. Melanie is producing a magazine every week, calls it Kids Mag, and photocopies about six copies has had it out on time so far, too. She's now producing the issues ahead of time and releasing them at the proper time. Gave me a lecture about the theory behind that, too. The masshead proclaims that she is art director and publisher. Heidi is editor because she can read. Must tell you something Heidi and Melanie had going last night. Had a lot of fun with it. Melanie came up to me and said in a gruff voice, I'm the government, and big people have to go to school. Heidi said, yeah, everyone over 32 years old. Rolf is 32. She said, we'll sneak into the government buildings at night and write our own laws on the back of theirs. Melanie said, so that we don't waste paper. I'll bet they always just use the front of paper. This scenario went on to become more and more ridiculous until Heidi said, Maybe if the government went to school, they get to know that kids shouldn't need to go.